a lot of fun. Well, first, let's dig into it. In just a few hours, eight Republican presidential hopefuls will face off on the debate stage for the first time ahead of the primaries. Notably absent Republican frontrunner, former President Donald Trump, Robert Costa in Milwaukee ahead of the debate with a preview of what we could see. The final touches are being put in place and the Republican presidential candidates are getting ready for tonight's debate. Holding prep sessions with advisors and rallying their supporters. USA, all right. USA, brother. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, running second in the polls but hoping to close the gap with Trump, has taken aim at the front runner for being a no-show. Everybody should debate. Everybody has a responsibility to earn people's votes. But tonight might not be all about the former president and his four criminal indictments. A CBS News poll shows Republican voters want candidates to make the case for themselves instead of against Trump. And the top issues they want to hear about are plans to address inflation, violent crime, and illegal immigration. Still, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie believes you have to go through Trump if you want to be the nominee and has slammed Trump for skipping the debate. Because voters are looking for authenticity. Now, like it or not, Donald Trump is authentic. He's just an authentic liar. Without Trump, others, especially lesser known contenders, might find a bit more political oxygen to make their pitch and get noticed. But you're going to have a serious policy discussion between the other candidates, and there's a lot of differences there. For Vivek Ramaswamy, his rise in the polls has put him center stage, and that comes with added scrutiny, including comments he made to The Atlantic about a conspiracy theory that the U.S. government may have been involved in the 9-11 attack. I think it is legitimate to say how many police, how many federal agents were on the planes that hit the Twin Towers. Like, I think we want it. Maybe the answer is zero, probably a zero for all I know, right? I no reason to think it was anything other than zero. On Tuesday, he was asked to clarify. Do you think there were federal agents on planes on, on September 11th? Of course Who not. Were... While Trump won't be here in Milwaukee, it will not be a low-key evening for the Trump campaign. Later today, a video of a pre-recorded interview between Trump and former Fox News host Tucker Carlson will be posted online. And here in this city, Donald Trump Jr. and top Trump campaign officials will be here to mix it up and project confidence. Robert Costa, CBS News, Milwaukee.